The fourth episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier just came out, so let's get right to it. So as the guys are on the verge of finding Carly Morgenthau using their own methods, John Walker and Lamar Hoskins have their own tactics in mind. For those of you who have been following my Falcon and Winter Soldier reviews, you know my favorite episode of the first three is the first episode, and now that we've gone through four episodes, I can say with full confidence that the fourth episode is officially my favorite episode of the entire series so far. The opening scene in The Whole World is Watching, the official title of episode four, follows Bucky during his time in Wakanda. One of the Dora Milaje is trying to rid the Winter Soldier illness from Bucky. The opening scene adds so much emotional depth to the character of Bucky, and we have some fantastic acting from Sebastian Stan. Then after the episode's tear-jerking opening, we get a series of events where the guys are trying to find this lady known as Danya, whose funeral is going to occur over the next couple of days, and she is connected to the Flag Smashers. I'm assuming she was one of their leaders and mentors. These scenes are easily the slowest parts of the episode, but it becomes obvious here that Zemo really hates Carly. Eventually, though, they find the funeral, and Sam has a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Carly about how her tactics are hurting more people than helping. If you guys remember in my last review, I talked about how Carly Morgenthau is not the most interesting character in my opinion because I feel like her character is going down a route that I've seen before. If you saw the movie Solo A Star Wars Story, she plays a character that you assume the entire time is a villain, but by the end of the movie, she ends up being a good guy. The same thing I believe is going to happen to her character in this TV show where you think she's going to go down this dark path and remain a villain when in reality, she's going to be like this anti-hero character. Of course though, in this moment, John Walker, the hothead, has to mess things up. He interrupts our conversation, Carly goes on the run, and Zemo shoots her, which leads to John Walker finding the serum. Zemo destroyed all but one, and John Walker takes the final one. This probably contributes to John Walker going berserk at the end of this episode. I will get back to that, though. Soon after, the story continues with the Dora Milaje and Ayo, who came for Zemo at the end of episode three. We get another terrific fight sequence where the Dora Milaje take on John Walker and Lamar Hoskins. And when the Dora Milaje beat Walker and Hoskins, this clearly eats up John on the inside. And he says, and I quote, they weren't even super soldiers. So for John, this is a stunning defeat and he's very upset about it. Oh, and Zemo escapes in this scene too. What else is new? So in the final 15 to 20 minutes of the episode, Carly sends a threat to Sarah, Sam's sister. And Walker is searching for Carly, giving the audience an awesome final action sequence. I think one of the main reasons why I was so excited for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was because Bucky and Sam these two characters always turn out some of the best action in the MCU, as we saw in Captain America, The Winter Soldier, one of my top five favorite MCU movies. The action in that film is some of the most exciting in superhero cinema. And through four episodes, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier has been nothing but action-packed, so of course I'm really excited to see how the last two episodes go, and so far the action has been great in the series. What absolutely devastated me though in this episode was when Carly killed Lamar. I think she did it by accident, but unfortunately it did kill him. This was both devastating and shocking, and for John Walker, a guy that is already enough of a hothead as it is, you do not want to upset that man, and you can see in his eyes that he wants revenge on Carly. Leading us to the best moment of the series thus far, in my opinion, where John Walker goes on a rampage and brutally kills one of the Flag Smashers. This sequence in particular shows that the showrunners of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier were okay with pushing the envelope a little bit when it comes to the violence in this TV show. I was more than satisfied with the amount of gore in this sequence. I couldn't be happier that Marvel is incorporating more blood and gore in their universe, and hopefully this paves a way for Deadpool 3 in the MCU. I hope they don't back out of that 
last minute. They need to have an R-rated Deadpool movie in the MCU. That would change the course of the MCU forever. So after all that, I do without a doubt think that episode 4 of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, The World is Watching, is the best episode yet of this TV show. Episode 1 was my favorite out of the first 3, but now it has to be episode 4 because this episode is more integral to the main story. We haven't seen the characters from episode 1 really since episode one, so I guess they're not as important to the story as the characters we have in the third and fourth episodes. But of course, for those of you who happen to see the fourth episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, be sure to let me down below in the comment section what your thoughts are of it. And of course, guys, if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.